It's 831 in Southern California. We're following the breaking news that O.J. Simpson has died of cancer at the age of 76. Joining us now on the phone, uh, longtime uh, Los Angeles reporter David Goldstein uh, covered the O.J. Simpson trial from the very beginning. Uh, we worked together at KCAL and covered that trial together, covered the case together. Goldie, good to talk to you. Hey, Frank, how you doing? All right. I just wanted I asked our folks to reach out to you because you, you covered this this case from beginning to end. And I just first wanted to get your reaction to his death at 76, just how it strikes you. Well, you know, um, it was a turbulent time in Los Angeles. People look at it back as, as a trial. Yes, it was. But, uh, you know, we covered it. We sat right next to each other for months. I mean, it was the, the only story I covered in my entire career every day for three years. And, and it, not only the trial, the murder, but, uh, you know, people lost friends over it. It was the, uh, a turbulent time in L.A. between uh, African-Americans and, and, and the community, and, and people took sides on this. So it was definitely a slice of life of Los Angeles for uh, three to four years back in the 90s. And David, for so many of us that watch this on TV daily, uh, what was it like to actually be there, to be a part of this at the time? You know, it was something that everybody in the country was watching. You know, my mother retired and lived in Florida, and, and she never really knew the stories that I worked on or anything like that, but she would call me about the OJ trial, and what about this person who testified yesterday and that person? Um, everybody, I had friends who would want to come into town and just see the courtroom uh, and the courthouse because they knew I was there. It, it was that kind of thing that, that people were, were riveted to their TV sets watching every move. And, you know, it was one of the, not the original trial, obviously, but one of the big trials that got people um, hooked on watching, uh, you know, cases on TV that maybe morphed into what Dateline does today and things like that. Yeah, I remember being actually in the courtroom. A handful of us were in the courtroom for the verdict. I was sitting next to our friend uh, Phil Schumann from Fox 11. And having covered this case for so many months and, and seeing the mountain of evidence against O.J. Simpson, I guess that I was surprised that he was found not guilty. On the other hand, the, the defense did, they had so many uh, strong attorneys uh, Barry Sheck uh, uh, among them, who challenged the DNA evidence. And, and I just wondered, after all these years, David, uh, you, you knew what evidence was there and, and, and the, the case that was brought against him. We know that in the, the civil trial he was found liable. But did you have a sense of whether justice was carried out appropriately? I'm not asking you to say he was guilty or not guilty, but did the system work? That's a good question, Frank. I, I, you know, there were never any allegations of irregularities that have come up in some other cases. So did the system work? I guess the system did work. Um, you certainly, you could have your opinion on whether the verdict was the right verdict, but the system worked as it was supposed to. You're right. He had a great defense team. Uh, going up against a, an underfunded prosecution team. Um, and in that sense, he made the system work for himself. Did it, did it work? Did it work for the families? I mean, I've been in touch with uh, some of the family members to this day. And, and obviously, uh, on, on the Goldman family um, and the Brown family, uh, it, it didn't work. Yeah. But as a system, as a whole, it, it's, that's, you know, they came back with a verdict. And do you, you know, having been in touch with the family, and, and that to me was the most heart-wrenching part of it, it to think of Ron Goldman, uh, you know, one's son being in that situation, trapped in essentially a cage, which was the, the front yard of Nicole Brown's uh, condo, the two of them trapped in that situation and then brutally hacked to death, stabbed to death, and the family never getting a sense of justice. Do, do you have a sense of how they would feel today or what they might say today? 
you know, I, I don't want to put words in their mouth. I will probably make some phone calls after this. But, um, you know, obviously it is a tragic thing for, for both families. Um, and, and it was turned into, you know, you could use the term circus. It, it was turned, in, turned into a show. Um, and there, one of their loved ones was brutally murdered. And this was turned into the trial of the century. And, uh, you know, I don't think they uh, believe they got justice in this case. And um, maybe nobody could have in, in just the situation that it turned out. I mean, we look back on this and, uh, you know, O.J. was a huge star, O.J. Simpson. Um, and, and I even look back on it and how I covered it in the beginning and, and covered it totally differently mm -hmm. than I would have if it was just John Smith who was arrested because mm -hmm. you, you had this guy who was, uh, you know, an, an idol uh, and, and a great football player and, and the whole thing turned into this. And, and I think that's, um, you know, I don't think the families are ever going to get any justice out of this. I remember, David, you, you were literally when Simpson got off the plane and got back to then Parker Center, you were standing right next to Simpson asking him questions as he uh, was, was uh, allowed to, to leave the building. So this has been with you personally for, for a very, very long time. And, and just before we let you go, I just want to get your personal feelings today about what it just feels like as it sunk into you. You know, it hasn't sunk in. It's it's a, a part of my life and my career um, from uh, you know, a, a long time ago. But it's something that people still bring up uh, to me all the time. Um, I, I, you know, it hasn't sunk in yet. Um, I, I'd like to see and I'd like to hear from the families, from yeah. the Brown family, mm -hmm. from the Goldman family, and and hear what they have to say. Um, I don't know if this is closure for them. Um, but it, it certainly is a monumental time. Yeah, I would imagine we will at some We've point. We've reached out, yeah. Uh, hear from the families uh, that were affected, uh, the Goldman family and Nicole, uh, Nicole's family as well. David, we appreciate you being with us this morning. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, thank you, guys. Thanks, David. Yeah, and we will continue our coverage on the death of O.J. Simpson throughout the morning. Uh, 76 years old, just getting word uh, that he had passed yesterday. Uh, so we'll continue to follow that. Mark now with a look at your weather.